Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here. If you're new, welcome to the family. If you're not new, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be showing how I got this little Valentine's Day look. I wanted to do a little love look because today's Valentine's Day. So first, happy Valentine's Day to all my lovers out there and all my not lovers. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to the people. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I showed how I got this little cute little Valentine's Day look. If you need some inspo for tonight. And then I also talk about a few things which honestly were just popping in my head. So why is this hair sticking out? But I talk a little bit about trusting the process, making sure that you talk to God first before your friends, then having godly friends, and also what does it mean to hear from God? Like, is it the still small voice of like, hi, my daughter, I'm here. Like, what does that mean to really hear from God? And then I think the last thing, and then briefly I also talked about making sure that if you are single on Valentine's Day, don't get down on yourself. Your love is coming. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a chit chat. Get ready with me. So make sure you go grab your makeup, your hair, your tools. I'm talking so, so fast. But I will see you in the video. Bye for now. Hi, guys, and welcome. I have black hair, which you guys have not seen me with black hair in God knows how long. Probably since my birthday last October. I literally can't wait to do my braids again because this wig life is just not meant for me. It's not my speed. And you can see my little, you can see my little red, my little red hair popping out at the corner. Let me put some more heavy earrings on. Today will be Valentine's Day when you guys are seeing this. So I actually do want to do a Valentine's Day look. Did y'all ever say Valentine's Day <laughs> or Valentine's? I felt like I had a moment where I was like, when I was probably younger, I was like, Val Valentine's. Yeah, in Nigeria, definitely. I said, I definitely was part of the Val Valentine's crew. Happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers out there. All the couples, I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope all you women are getting treated like queens. And this video is not even going to be about dating because I've really been trying to be mindful about how much I talk about dating on this channel. Because I just don't want to be made like the president of the SCW Association, Single Christian Women Association. Where there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't want to be the spokesperson for it. But I have been seeing a lot of TikToks about, you know, just weathering through the season and all that stuff. So I'm going to talk about that briefly and then we're going to get into like what we're what I actually want to talk about. I just want to encourage you guys all there. Please don't make Valentine's Day another stressful day for you. It's just another commercialized holiday to get money. Like <laughs> I get the feeling of like, oh I want to be booed up on flowers. If you gotta buy yourself some flowers, go buy yourself some flowers. I'm going in with my NARS foundation and one thing I've definitely done on previous years, if you need to take a break off of social media today, like do what you have. Granted you're probably gonna see this video a little bit later. But I feel like people don't really post about the plane so late at night anyway. So do what you have to do. Get off social media if that's going to help you um, not go down a downward spiral. Please just don't let today stress you like, oh, we'll be well, y'all. All will be well in the world. Who knows? By this time next year, you'll be booed up. You'll be, you, you'll be the one that's oppressing people. People would not have to mute you for the day. So have a little Valentine's dinner. Get you and your girls. Enjoy the day. Don't let this holiday make you feel sad that you're not in a relationship. That's all I'm going to say about that topic. I don't know what look I want to go for. I can't tell if I want to go like soft eyes and then red lip or bold eyes bold lip because i kind of want to have fun today so i might do a little bit of a bold eye nude lip we'll see how i feel oh we could do a little tulip moment that would be cute what i actually wanted to talk about today was honestly and this is going to be a sermon for myself too because my friend literally has her mind she goes can you remember when you said this i was like oh yeah i did say that but it's going to be all about trust in the process and this is definitely not a new topic but one that i definitely just wanted to shed light on and a little like nuance this concealer smells funny. Hmm. I feel like whenever I think about trust, it always comes back to like Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. I hope I said that right. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. I've talked about the whole finding your purpose and all that stuff, but I found myself in a time where you really, really have to trust the process. And I shared one thing a while ago on my TikTok where if you look at the growth span of a bamboo tree, it takes about three, sometimes four, five years before a bamboo tree like breaks ground. But then after a bamboo tree breaks ground, that same bamboo tree that was seemingly dormant for a certain amount, for like years, that same bamboo tree can grow like two feet in a day, which is insane. And what really inspired me to do this video was honestly just my reflection moment because when you're living in purpose and nothing's happening or nothing seems to, let me rephrase that, nothing seems to be happening, I think a lot of times you kind of start to doubt of like, maybe I'm doing something wrong. And one thing that I've been trying to like, nail in my head and my friend reminded me is that sometimes you're not doing wrong god is just taking you through a process and i think that's something that's so, like it's something that i know but i'm really trying to like sink into my skull again because i think the waiting season and all that and the testing season because god will bring you through different tests while you're living in purpose 
but <laughs> I've been trying to like really tell myself like Kenny this is all a process I can't just get down because it doesn't seem like anything is happening because all of this will make sense someday and all of this there will be some type of understanding about it some days and i even talked about this in my video where i was like thank god for the like quote unquote unanswered prayers because i said it in that video the lesson that i learned last year i don't think i could would have learned them had i gotten what i wanted then and there i had to go through that process and yeah it's not easy but god is taking you through a process and all will be well and one of the things that my friends said to me that kind of encouraged me about trusting the process was that like when that package arrives, it's not going to be like a half package. It's not going to be a little bit damaged. Like, God is going to bring the full package to your doorstep. Like, God already promised you the package. He gave you the tracking number. Now it's just on your way to your house. They have to box up the package. They have to tape it. They have to scan it. They have to add the shipping label and everything. Like, the package is getting ready. You don't just order something and then bam, it arrives at your house. There's a process that happens. You have They have to type out the information on the computer to get the shipping number, all that stuff. So like that process has to happen before that package arrives. The package is on the way. This video is also going to be like a group effort because there were some things that my friends told me that I'm also just going to share with you. But one thing I've also been trying to do in this whole like trusting the process is like giving myself a little bit of grace. I think sometimes like... I felt like I was really, really trusting God. And then sometimes you go through a testing season, which even the Bible talks about when we go through a testing season, you're gonna get tested on what you know. So it's like you're when you go through school, you study for an exam and then you get tested on what you know. Because I felt like I had a deeper understanding of what faith and trust was last year. But now again, that I feel like it's being tested, I got so in my head of like, why are you going through this again? Like, didn't you learn this? Like, you go through this moment of like, but I know what the word says. It's like, I know it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. It says, those that wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. It's like, you know these scriptures. So it's like, when you're going through that testing season, and it's like, you're aware of the word, but the word is not clicking in your head. It's so easy to get down on yourself. But I think it's so important to know, like, okay, give yourself grace and then go back to God. Be like, God, I feel like I know these scriptures. But clearly there's a disconnect between me knowing them and believing them in this moment. And I think that's when you have to go back to God and pray for revelation and pray for like more understanding. Like God, a prayer that I remember I used to pray a lot was God, make these words, make these words real to me. I'm doing my basic routine guys, so I'm not going to talk too much through the face because it's the same old thing. Well, ain't nothing much change. And I'm going to talk about hearing from God in a second because I feel like everybody, and honestly some days I'm still like, is it me, God, or was that you or me? Like, was that my thought or your thoughts? As I mentioned briefly, this is like a group video of things that my friends told me. But truly, I think it's so, so important to have godly friends in your life because it's just so, it's just such a beautiful thing. Like, I was getting off the phone with my friend yesterday. And she's like, I hope God blesses you. And she just said a little prayer for me. And I'm like, we have grown up. Like, these are friends that I've known since I was like 12, 13. And now, like, we're ending the calls of prayer. They're like, hey, can we read the scripture? Pray about this. Yada, yada, yada. It makes you feel a lot better to also know that like in times of, not times of trouble, but when you're going through stuff, to have friends that would not like, is it, talk, which one is the right one? Is it talk you off the ledge or keep you on the ledge? I never know which one is the right term in that like analogy. You guys know what I'm trying to say? We're like, oh, you need friends. Whatever. This is so important to have friends that when you're going through it, they don't just give you like worldly advice. They just are like, hey, let's pray about this together. What about this? What about this? And that's why I love this YouTube channel because I feel like it's really like a sisterhood that's growing of like, I feel like we're friends sometimes. Like when you guys comment like, oh, yay, my friend commented. Like it's like I get a little comment. I get excited because because it's like we're building godly friends of like, I've gone through that in my last season. And it's like you share advice, you help each other. And I just think it's so like, yeah, just get some godly friends in your life. I know that from what I've heard, at least I feel like making godly friends, especially if you step into like a new church at like an older age and trying to find community, it might not be easy, but but just at least like one or two people that you can call and be like, hey, this is what I'm going through. And they like literally back you up in a place of prayer or they encourage you with scripture. And so, which kind of goes into my next topic of like hearing from god and i feel like this is such a big one for a lot of i was gonna say christian women but honestly everybody of knowing like did i really hear from god and i feel like this is the one that i've been having a better understanding of a little bit lately so i wanted to share it i would say hearing from god is not as simple well maybe not simple sir i don't know if simple is the right word i always thought that and i used to get so frustrated i always thought that hearing from god meant like i think the bible talks about how it's a still small voice so i always thought it's gonna be like Dear daughter Kenny, how's your day? I always like, not even to mock God or anything, but I always thought 
that's the only way you can hear from God. But God can talk to you in many, many different ways. And the best way to hear from God, number one, is through your word, read in scripture. That's the best way to, for God to talk to you. And I know that one's like, uh, but we've heard that before. Like, what does that mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like scripture. But God really does talk to you through scripture. There are common verses that we say a lot of times, like Jeremiah 29, 11, for God knows the plans that he has for you. All that stuff. Like, it's like, that's God talking to you. But God also talks to you through your friends sometimes. And this is something I've been really like trying to practice recently. And it's been something that's helping me out a lot. As important as it is to have godly friends or mentors in your life, always talk to God first. Always. I used to do it the other way around. Of I'll go, like me and my sister, I, my sister, my sister, my sister, my sister. I'm a my sister girl. Any little thing, I'm calling my sister. My coffee order is too warm. I'm calling my sister. My coffee order is too cold. I'm calling my sister. Like, I call my sister for everything. And this is no shade to her or anything. I still love my sister and I'll still tell her about these things. And my pastor even said this where he was like, talk to God first and then God will place people in your life that will give you answers. But like, it's something I've been really, really trying to practice the last like a month and a half or so of like, no, Kemi, before you call people, before you rant about this is what's going on, go to God first. And sometimes God will talk to you then and there. And like two ways I feel like God will talk to you in that moment when you talk to him first is that one through journaling, like literally as you're journaling, God will place a thought in your head. And for some reason, it's like, I was like, wait, but did I come up with that thought? Some thoughts are from God. And I feel like, again, going back to scripture is knowing that like, if you're of course praying to God and you have an intrusive thought that's like, oh, go yourself or something like that, then I think we all know that that's not from God because God does not want us to do that to ourselves. But also, this is a very, very chatty video. <laughs> like, I love journaling, but sometimes when it's a bigger topic, I'll more so record it on my phone or laptop or whatever, my MacBook, turn on a little FaceTime feature or whatever, record yourself, talk it out, and even through that, as you're saying the words out loud, sometimes God would give you thoughts and ideas that are like, the answer to what you're asking him so like let's say you're recording you're like god but like you're just talking about, like i literally make it i'm like god am i doing the right thing is it that yeah, yeah yeah god can simply place an idea in your head of like is it bringing me glory and that could be a simple question that pops in your head but that's the way that god's talking to you i remember i was driving not that long ago i the last video i made i talked about that and god just kept downloading new ideas of like keep that same energy like that was God talking to me while I was driving. It's not always a voice. Sometimes it's just a thought. Sometimes God, will, you're going through a moment and God will place, all of a sudden you start singing a song that you haven't thought about and God knows how long. And that song just keeps playing on your head. That's God talking to you and playing that song, putting that song on your heart. Yeah, because I, I used to get so sick because I'm like, I'm not hearing the voice. I'm not hearing the voice. And it's just like, no, it's not always that. Okay, so I literally got done filming, but I feel like this part I forgot to say and it needs to fit here. So the video will continue, but I just want to say this part really quick. Throughout the whole trust of process and test and season, literally like Job, it can feel like God is silent. And that was one of the mistakes that I made, I felt like earlier on, where there were some days where I woke up and it, I, the presence of God was just so heavy that I felt like it was almost like I woke up and he was like, right leg first, then you're left. There were times where it really felt like God was guiding every step. And that's not to say that he's not guiding other steps. However, there were definitely times where I felt like that present didn't feel as heavy. And one of the mistakes I made during this whole trust the process and hearing from God was that I felt like if I didn't feel that presence as heavy, I would then be like, oh my gosh, God is not hearing my prayers. And I would then distance myself from God and I would not be in my word as much and I would not do my Bible study as much and all that stuff. But one of the things that I really, really has helped me is to push past that feeling. You have to push past that feeling of I'm not hearing from God. There were a lot of times where like, I didn't feel God that presently anymore, yet he was still talking. It was just in a different way. Because in moments where it feels like God is silent, that is also another moment where God is really building up your faith. It's like, is it only when you're going to hear me like very heavily or when you feel me, you still have to keep going. Yeah, that's just what I wanted to add really quick. I'll push past that feeling. So back to the video. Time to do the eyeshadow. Yeah. Looks like we got to go red. We're going to go red here. Yeah. Um, now let's go in with this reddish shade. I think I want to do like a little soft cut crease. I don't think I want to do too like red. Well, this red is pretty. I feel like I should have gone pink. No, I don't think I like this. No, I can't remember if I finished talking about that point, but truly, I really want to encourage you like talk to God first. I remember there were times where I had ideas and I felt like, granted, now I know they were from God and they were good ideas and everything. But by the time you tell one person, this also goes on the topic of discernment, but different. 
different topic, different day. Um, <laughs> the time you tell friend one, friend two, sister one, sister two, mom, dad, you told like seven people that one idea that you were so sure and so excited about, now you're not so sure about it. And it's like, now you're moving along with the ideas of other people when it's just like, had you just had a simple conversation with God first, you probably would have known that like, hey, okay, this is an idea from God. He would have given you that confirmation. He would give you a step to move forward. But now you're doubting like, oh, but should I, should I, should I? Yeah, so that's just what I wanted to kind of like bring back up on that topic. Hmm, that's cute. I often don't do like a smoked out liner, but I was like, why not? Let's have fun with it. And now blush. Uh, should I do a pink blush today? I never do a pink blush. Oh, I never do a pink blush, but I'm like, it's Valentine's Day. Do I even have? I have this like dark purple. Oh, that's so scary. I don't like it. I don't even think anything showed up, but I don't like it. Ugh. I'm gonna mix a little bit of my orange blush in there. Okay, that's cute. Like I said, this video is a little bit all over the place. There were just a few topics that I just wanted to like cover a little but really really the one of like trusting the process and i'm going to leave some bible verses on the screen that i feel like have been helping me out a little bit recently keep reminding yourself of that bamboo analogy that, like all the effort all the time all the pain the sweat the blood the tears that you're putting in it right now it's all part of the process and that one day when you finally break ground you're going to sprout up and grow close to three feet in one day if you don't have a blush topper in your life you need to get one i don't know if jacqueline still sells this but this one's by jacqueline hill it's like this reddish shade it's literally a blush color but it's shimmery and i feel like when i want like a subtle highlight this just you see that i hope you do and then when i smile it's just like on the apples on my cheeks yeah you see that your cheek just glows a little bit one of the last things i kind of just want to say with this is as long as you're walking in God and what God has called you to do, be very, very sensitive to not let doubt creep in. And it might creep in in different ways. I believe that I'm walking in alignment with you. I believe that I'm walking and doing what you told me to do, but I'm not seeing it. And I think that goes back to the whole trusting the process. The process doesn't mean, okay, I've been walking in alignment for two minutes. Now all of a sudden the blessing is here. There's still more to it. There's one of the things that somebody had to tell me to like help me was you're not doing anything wrong. I feel like I I needed to hear that, but I also feel like somebody needs to hear this. It's like, it's not something that you did. Like you're doing what God has told you to do. You're not doing anything wrong. It's not because maybe you sinned or maybe because you missed that prayer day or you missed that prayer call. It's nothing you did that is stopping it. God is just taking you through a process and I, f I just really feel like somebody needed to hear that because I really needed to hear that of like, you're not doing anything wrong. Keep working. Faith without works is dead. It says it in the Bible. Just literally say, call your name. Like I keep telling my Kemi, it's part of the process. Trust the process. Say your name. Keep telling yourself that it's just part of the process. And I hope you guys like this video. I know usually the girl chats where I'm doing my makeup, they're a lot lighthearted and the ones in the bed are a little bit serious. But I really, I wanted to one, do the Valentine's Day look and have fun with y'all. But I also just felt the need to like, I don't know, I really just felt like doing my makeup while talking about it because just to kind of get all my thoughts out of my head a little bit. So yeah. To end this video on a lighter note, I'm going to share you guys a story of how I almost passed out on one Valentine's Day. So I was in a very, I was still, I think I was still in college. I was very much like, you know what, treat yourself, you're not going to make yourself. Because that's when I used to get really, really down and set on Valentine's Day, on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I went to Bath and Body Works. I used my little discount. I bought myself like the bath salts. I bought myself the bubble bath. I made myself a bath. And I was like, you know what would be cute? I ordered myself food, a glass of wine. Y'all, the water was too hot. I almost passed out. I literally had to leave the bathroom and come rush into my room to lay down. Because I was w one more minute in that bathroom, my head would have hit the concrete floor. It would have hit the concrete floor. And I still think about that story till today and it makes me laugh because... All I wanted to do was treat myself and I almost knocked my, and I almost made myself pass out. Yeah, don't be like me. Draw yourself a bath, but don't make it too hot or open a window or something. But I want to be nosy. If you are celebrating Valentine's Day with your boot thing, let me know what your plans are. What's your outfit like? Are you going like classic with like the red dress or are you doing like maybe like black or something? What are, what are the, but anyway, if you are celebrating a solo, let me know your plans down below. Let us have a little chat about it. Time to do the look. Do a classic little red lip. I feel like I should do some type of like heart somewhere on my face. Okay, red lip. 
Yeah, this is it. Now my hair. What am I gonna do with my hair? I'm just gonna leave it down and brush it because I don't have it in me to curl it. I wanted to go put on my pink shirt because Valentine's Day, but now I feel like it's too much with the red lip. Yeah, I'm about to go change the shirt because I don't like it. It's too much. Because I want to take pictures of the look and everything, but the pink and the red is just like, oof. But I hope you guys got what I was trying to say in this video. I hope I got my point across. I don't know. Sometimes I get to the end of the video, I'm like, what did you exactly say? Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And bye. Oh, what did I even say in this whole video? My gosh.